Hi, this is Tracy from We Craft at Home and today I'm going to do the Pin Flare Craft Tidy Box. I desperately need one of these, I don't know about you, but I will show you what I use at the minute. I use a little gardening bag that I bought years ago. As you can see, it's a mess. Everything is everywhere. I try and keep it tidy, but it just sits on my desk. It comes with me. If I, well, we don't go to any uh, craft clubs or anything at the minute, but it comes with me if I need to do that. And it is a mess. And when I saw this, I thought, yes, I have to have it. There is so much room there. So much room. I have to have this. So... We are doing it. At the same time I saw this, I saw it on uh, Create and Craft, they were also doing the material in the roses. I love it. I've been, I've had my eye on the black and white for so long now. I keep saying, yes, I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it, and then I talked myself out of it. So now I've got a reason to have it, so I got the set. So this one is fairly simple. You start off with six of these and um, as usual when you unpack make sure you've got your piles of where you need to use it. So you're going to have six of these, you're going to have, um, so if I show you on the instructions, on this bit you're obviously, you're going to have six of them, twelve of them and eighteen of them. And then you're going to have, there we go, you're going to have six strips like that. And that is basically it, apart from the two rectangles at the back. And some squares if you want to divide your craft caddy. So you get the instructions to follow along. And so what I do is I always go through the instructions with you. I did get stuck on the very first piece, because it says... Cut out 12 fabric hexagons using the template on the back page. You get a template with it. Um, glue six of them onto the inside. Like that. So I was like, okay, you glue six of them. And I always read through the entire instructions before I even start. And I have to say, it doesn't tell you what to do with the other six. But when you get to the end of the project, you'll know what to do with the other six. So you do need to cut 12 out. Now what I've done is I cut because I want, I'm doing mine, so red is on the outside and black is in the middle. So I've done the black hexagon in the middle. Um, the other ones are going to go on the bottom at the end. So if you're doing a different colour on the outside, make sure you cut six to match the outside of the box. So six for the inside, six for the outside. It doesn't tell you that on there, so I just wanted to add that. So all you're gonna do, this um, sticky tape stuff you get, you don't need a lot, but it's what you're gonna do just to hold this so that it's stuck together. So I really didn't use a lot, to be honest. I've done that and that for the, the little pieces and all you're going to do, you can lick or wet sponge it, whatever. It's got like the envelope type glue one side and you just stick across. Hold it up, stick it down. There we go. It does stick eventually. <laughs> and you're going to do that for all the sides. So that's that together 
and then the next bit is you're, you're going to um, cut six pieces of fabric measuring 27 centimeters by 17 and what you're going to do is roll it round like this I'm going to use my book binding glue tub because it's just easier with this this is way quicker than any of the other projects I've done so I've always started out gluing the back of the big one but only one side I'm using that as my middle point So, measure from the bottom, and then what we're going to do is just go round. go now I don't know if this is the right way but this is how I found it easier to do so I cut the strips down beside the two long pieces like this I know we've still got that there let's make sure that's stuck down nicely Okay, and then I just cut that piece all the way round. Got the wrong scissors. Let me just get my material scissors, sorry. Okay, so then we're going to do the mitered corners. Cut into the corners there that matter. And then we need to go down to the next level, like that. bit low there but still mitre them corners and go into there that wasn't done very nicely but it does the trick So now we're just sticking all the tabs down. That one is not. That's a double layer, so we have to be extra careful with that one. Like that, there you go. Let's 
change to the smaller one. And there we have it. So that is your first piece of tray. Then you are going to do six of them. So I've done the other six, I'll show you in a minute. Um, they're all the same, so you do, you know, this is quick, but it's a bit monotonous because you're doing six of the same every time. So the next bit is to do the inner, which I've done in an opposing colour, and you're going to do like it says on the paper, as you can see. You're going to do it like that. Now I stuck it straight onto the material because, um, so this is what you get. So as I stuck it onto the material, I've done it like that and then I kind of, if you imagine, I turned it around so the other one was under it like that. So I'm only losing a little bit of fabric. And then what we're going to do is stick it all together. So after you've done six of these, each one has got to go inside one of these. It can be a little bit fiddly because of the way we glued the tape on some of them you have to push to fit but um, that's why I didn't glue it it was easier it can't come apart because the materials there to stop it so let me get this turn it so it's in a little bit like this and just start by matching up the the tall bit here. So we're going to match that up, squeeze the rest in and it won't want you to <laughs> but it does go in really perfectly eventually. There we go. There we go, see? So they do fit in. And you're left with six of these. So then the next thing to do is to stick all six together. Which I've done with the other five, just so that we can jump ahead. As you can see. And I've just got to stick the last one down. Now all you're sticking is this second biggest side here. And I'm going to do both sides because this is the last one. And I'll put way too much glue on. So this is the last one that just slots in. Hmm. What I done to match them up was match up these side bits here to make sure that they are in the same place. So now you have the main part of the caddy. 
So that's the six parts all put together. That was the next bit you had to do. Then it says the six pieces that are the same, they're a bit thicker and a tiny little bit wider. Stick them onto one sheet and then you are left with this piece. See, they're all six there. So you are left with this and that is the inner to the top piece here. So we need to stick it all together there. I'm just going to move this to the side so that I can put glue on this. So you want to glue the entire area paying close attention to the edges because you don't want the edges coming away really. That would not be good like the top and bottom. go. I'll bring this back in. Tell you what, let's move the glue down the side. Right. <laughs> so you're going to curl it in and it, it's the same as doing the inners of the the little ones and you're just going to push it down this one don't want to push down oh, I see there we go and then you're going to just stick it So it sticks nicely to the inside. And then that's, this is what I love about the pin flare um, cartonage things, is that they make sure that everything is covered and it's solid. Once that sticks together, it's all one solid piece. This is going to hold it together so the bits can't come apart. Oh, I missed out a bit. I do apologise. See, I got too carried away. So you get a strip for the handle, which I am just going to coat in a bit of glue at the end of each one, like this. And I'm going to do it quickly. I'm very good at missing out this bit on every one. Okay, so the handle, so that it stays stuck, it tells you to um, cover the handle, but what you need to do is put it in between these so that it's stuck down as well as you can. So apologies for that guys. As you're sticking the inner down you need to stick also the handle. Sorry about that. But as you can see, I mean, I put it in and then thought, oh, the handle, and I've still done it, okay. Okay, there we go. So obviously you'll have more time to leave it to dry. 
I would leave that to dry for a little while just so that all of it can take but I am going to move on we're almost there can you believe it it is such a quick project I mean obviously I went ahead and done the other five of these and that sort of thing so the last bit is the two hexagons with the um, the, the rotary now it's I think it's probably better to use pin flare glue gel for this to stick the rotary on but for your sakes I'm going to do it with a hot glue gun just so that it's easier for me to show you So let's go and stand that to dry for a little while and concentrate on these. So you're going to have two hexagons, one I've coated properly, that's going to be the bottom and the other one I've run a little bit short of material and rather than cutting a whole new thing out I'm going to um, use that on the bottom because the tray sits on most of it I'll show you because the tray is right there and sits on it no one's gonna see it so I'm not too worried although on the inside if people peek in you want them to see the material so it's gonna go in the middle of that This is the bottom, imagine, so I'm going to turn it upside down afterwards and you're going to stick like that and then it turns. There we go, see? So I'll use hot glue gun just so that it's quicker and I can show you quicker. But she does advise to use uh, glue gel and I'll be honest, it's what I would normally use, so... Okay, so I'm just going to put some around every little corner here. Should have let it heat up a bit more, maybe. Okay, and then we'll put some more on the top. Make sure you're matching it up. And there we go. So obviously it's going to be this way round. So you can see it works and now all it takes is, oh I've moved it, <laughs> now all it takes is attaching it to the base. So, oh yeah this is the bit where you need to do the other hexagons and I'll show you why. This is what I worked out, otherwise you're going to have a very you can see the bottom of them so you'll attach that and the last thing you have you have these 12 little squares that you can cover in material by going you stick them like that and then you stick them together so the materials on the outside and then they can be separators if you want more compartments like taller and smaller and things like that so that is for that and I think that would be a finished caddy and I for one love it I've just got to do me rect me other hexagons so uh, do we do it 
Oh, that's perfect. So if you just fit it by putting one box to one, one edge, it fits really nicely. There we go. I absolutely adore this. I am so glad and happy that I finally got a decent caddy and it spins so I haven't got to keep moving it. Well, obviously I can move it but I can spin it instead of having to lift it up to have a good search through for everything. So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Love the material as well. And um, another one of Pim Flair's I see that I haven't even left that that long and it's already lifting. Another one of Pim Flair's great cartonage kits. You really should give them a go. I've got loads now but I still keep buying, I can't help it. So okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.